All right, so welcome back. Uh, the next feature we want to add is right now we've only got two routes, uh, and they're both pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and show a demo of what we're hoping to do. Uh, so this is the uh, the solution. So just kind of looking over the solution for a minute. Um, and so this uh, this solution has that you can click on Munch, uh, and it, it shows a menu. Uh, so it shows, hey, for Munch, do you want um, you know floor 200, 100, uh, L100, or L200? And so there's that menu, which is one part, uh, and then there's the content for the Munch area. Uh, so those are kind of the two things that we're going to work on uh, building. Uh, and we're going to do kind of the menu uh, steps first. So uh, in order to, to kind of get the menu set up, uh, we're going to have to add some more things to our app component uh, .html uh, so we can close others. And so we've got this home button and we've got this sign in button. Uh, and we could start off by adding another button. Uh, that'd be fine. Um, and it's going to be called munch. Um, it won't necessarily do any of this router link stuff, so I'm just going to take it out. Because what it's going to do is it's going to actually just be a trigger uh, for a menu. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in here, uh, just so we can kind of see what it looks like. And so you can see this says Munch, that's just fine. And when you click it, it's going to show a menu. Um, in order to learn more about menus, uh, you can go over to Angular Material, uh, and you can go find their uh, area about menus. Uh, there it is. And you can see that they've got, you know, kind of an example here of, you know, you click on a button uh, and then it shows you a menu. And the way this HTML works is that you've got something that's your trigger. Uh, so here's your trigger. And then you've got something that's your menu. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and copy this snippet uh, and we'll bring it over. Uh, and we're just going to kind of paste it right in here. I like to put a bunch of blank lines whenever I'm pasting in temporary stuff, uh, just so we can see what it looks like. So their example is in a button which was an MD button and it was an MD trigger menu for menu and you can see that this uh, this word menu right here just has to match this this word menu right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it say uh, munch menu and I'm changing it just to prove what has to match because uh, it's um, you know kind of the right hand side of this and the left hand side of this and that's a little confusing uh, all right, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to put this attribute uh, on our trigger, uh, not on their example trigger. Uh, and so now we can kill their, their example trigger. So now we've got, we've got the two pieces here. So we've got the trigger, uh, which is going to trigger the munch menu, and then here we've got the munch menu. It's interesting that uh, this, this thing right here is kind of broken up into two phases. I'm going to temporarily delete this just so you can see it better. Um, so if you were to say uh, hashtag munch menu, that would make a local variable to that HTML element, um, but then we don't really want to. We don't really want a variable to the the HTML element. We want a, a connection to its underlying uh, MD menu, uh, which is why we say equals MD menu. So we've seen that a couple times, and it's got an item one and an item two in here. Uh, so we can actually just go and see if that works. Uh, so we'll cut back over to our app. Uh, now, when I click on Munch, uh, you can see it says item one and item two. Uh, one thing that it did that I don't like is it, it overlapped with the trigger. Um, I personally prefer that it's below the trigger. Um, and you can go find how to do that in the documentation, but um, I'll just tell you this time. And what you have to add is you have to add uh, onto the menu, you have to add another attribute called overlap trigger. Um, and we could go into their documentation and find where it's at, but uh, we don't have to. And so what we want to set that to is false. Um, and so now does the menu overlap the trigger? Uh, it's false. And so now when I click on it, you can see that it's below it, uh, which is my preference. Uh, great. The next thing I want to do is I want these items to be different items. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make one of them, uh, and then I'm going to copy paste it. So I'm going to get it down to only one. So you can see that this is a button, and it's a menu item, and it's got text in it. Um, and mine's going to say 200 for this first one. And what I want this thing to do is I want it to be a router link. So I use my, my snippet for a hyphen router link. And it's going to go to slash munch. Um, and then what this thing really is, is it is uh, an array, right? So it's in square brackets, which means that the things that are inside the quotes are JavaScript. Um, and the things that are inside the quotes with your JavaScript is it's an array of uh, two strings. And so these are the individual pieces uh, that you're passing in. So you're going to slash munch, uh, and then you're going to 200. 
I'm also going to go ahead and add this router link active uh, on here so that a class gets added to this guy. Uh, it's getting kind of long, so I'm going to go ahead and make it a little, a little shorter. Um, and so I've got router link, uh, and then I've got a router link uh, equals active, and then I've got a 200. Uh, cool, so I think that I'm willing to mass produce. So I'm going to have four of these total, uh, and it's going to be 100, uh, L100, and L200. That's just how the floors are called uh, in the building that I'm in. Uh, so it's L100, uh, and then the L200 layer. Uh, so there, those guys are set up. Um, and so now when you click on these links, um, it's going to display the active. Uh, the problem is that when you click on these links, it's going to crash your app. Uh, so whenever you click on those links, um, oh, it didn't crash my app. Why didn't it crash my app? Oh, I know why it didn't crash my app. It took me a second. Um, so it. Um, so let's go to the sign-in page really quick uh, and now click one of these guys. So this won't match anything, um, so it's going to get sent over to the home page. Uh, so it didn't crash, but it also didn't work at all. Um, and that's because this Munch uh, 200 doesn't match any routes. Um, and if you go over to your router, um, you can see that that's going to catch at the bottom here and send you over to home. Um, if I were to, to temporarily take that off, uh, then it would crash my app, which is what I was expecting to have happen. Uh, yeah, there we go. Boom. Um, so let's go ahead and fix that. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, just kind of stub in enough um, just to make it not crash and burn. Um, and so what I want to do is I wanted to uh, come over here and NGG another component. So NGG, uh, move this up some on the screen, uh, components, um, and I'm going to call it, this is going to be my munch component, right? Uh, and my munch component is much like sign in and home. Uh, I want to rename it to be the plus munch component folder. Uh, I want to get rid of its spec file. Um, and then I want to, over in my app module, um, it auto-imported it, uh, but it auto-imported it, and then I added a plus symbol right there. And now I can add it to my routing. Uh, so in order to add it to my routing, uh, I'm going to copy one of these guys. Uh, so it's going to be path munch. Uh, but this one is, oh, I'm just going to go to the munch component. Uh, so munch. Uh, it is not wanting to help me type today. Uh, something must be I'm not quite as good about my system. It used to help me type that. Uh, cool. But it won't actually be munch. It's actually going to be munch and then some parameter. Um, so the question is, you know, what does that syntax look like to, look like, <laughs> to say that I need a parameter? Uh, and what it looks like is it looks like slash, colon, um, and then you give the parameter a name. So I'm going to call it floor. Um, why there's a slash and a colon, I don't know. I just copied it from uh, from what they told me to copy. But if you've got a parameter, uh, you put it on like this. I guess the slash makes sense, but the, uh, the colon is kind of surprising. Uh, but that's just how you give it a name. Uh, so whenever you receive it on the other end, that's going to be the floor. Um, and you can actually like test to see if it works now. Um, and so now whenever you click on Munch and you click on 100, uh, it says munch works, and you can see it's going to munch as a parameter path, and then 100. If I go to 200, it still just says munch works, because I haven't written anything in that component yet. Uh, but you can see that it's doing pretty well. The one thing that I would like to add is when you go to sign in, you can see that it's kind of like highlighted to say who's signed in. When you go to home, it kind of shows who's home. Um, but when you go to munch, just kind of you don't get any of those features, right? So there's nothing to say what floor I'm on. Uh, and then there's nothing up here. Now, if you look at this, it's these four things here that are router links. So really, they should be getting that class active. Um, and it turns out that they are getting that class active, but all that class active is doing is it's setting a background color of white, um, which you can't really see. So let's go ahead and, and fix that. So I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but uh, hopefully it makes sense where I'm at. So they are getting in this active class. It's just not visible. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make another active class that's kind of like specific for them. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, capture them somehow. Um, and so what these guys are is they're, they're buttons that have an attribute MD button item. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that I'm looking for things that are buttons uh, that have the attribute uh, MD button item uh, and then the class active. 
So if you've got those things, uh, then I want you to be bold. So I'll just say font weight bold. And your background color um, is going to be, um, let's just go with a light gray. So what this is going to do is this is just going to help uh, show the user uh, where they're at. So now you can see that like whenever I click on 200, a bold and a light gray on 200, if I were to click on say, I don't know, L100, uh, I got a bold and a light gray there. Uh, so that's actually pretty good. The only thing that I wouldn't mind doing better is I'd kind of like for it to be white um, on the word munch. <laughs> so many messages. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and fix that, uh, and then we'll, we'll kind of cut this video off. So sign in gets it for free, home gets it for free, and that's because they've got that router link active thing. But Munch doesn't get it because Munch isn't a router link. Uh, Munch is just a trigger for a menu. Um, so the question is, how do we put that highlight, how do we put that class on uh, a trigger menu? Um, and we just do it the old fashioned way. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to, whenever somebody clicks on Munch Components, uh, so I'm going to close the others, I'm just going to get it and add a class, right? So this is this is not the, the newest and latest thing, um, but we're just going to say get element by ID, um, and we're just going to have an ID on there called, uh, let's do Munch button. I'll use single quotes just so my linter doesn't yell at me later. Um, and so... This ID, I'm just going to go put it on uh, that uh, button. So I'm just going to say ID equals, so this is web development from many years ago, right? Um, so I'm just giving it an ID, um, and so I'm going to say document.getElementID. You could also do it with a query selector, but get element by ID is fine here. Um, and I'm just going to take his class list, uh, and I'm just going to add uh, manually uh, the class active, uh, which is great. So that'll add it uh, whenever I go there. So now whenever I go to one of these pages, you can see it got added. I didn't take it off yet. So whenever I go to home, now they're both active, right? If I go to sign in, they're both active. To take it off, um, I've just got to do the equivalent of ng on init, uh, which is ng on destroy. Um, and what I want to do here is instead of adding it, I just want to remove it, right? So I'm going to either add it or remove it. The other thing you should do, because it's best practice, is you claim that you implemented the protocol um, on init. Um, we should also claim that we implement the protocol on destroy, uh, because we do, right? And you will have to uh, Im import that one up top. The nice thing about that is that if you make a typo in the name here, uh, then it'll help you say that it, it doesn't implement it right because you don't have the right thing. So it just it helps make sure uh, that you've, uh, you've actually got the class that you think you've got. So now that should do what I want. So now if I go to Munch 200, uh, you can see that it stays highlighted. Um, and if I go on Home, it, it goes away. Um, and so now I've kind of got two, two things going on. It shows Munch, uh, and then it shows the right uh, floor, which is kind of like bolded there. Cool, so I think that the menu is in good shape. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this video off here uh, and go ahead and check this in. I'm gonna kind of review some of the things I've done. Uh, and then next time we'll implement the, the details more. So this page, the, the app routing module, this was the, the heavyweight stuff that we did, right? So this is how you, you pass in a path that has a parameter. That was the important part. Uh, and then the rest is kind of the, the boilerplate that goes around it. Um, so I, ooh, it looks like I forgot to check in last time because I've got quite a few things to, uh, to, to do here. Uh, so I did my HTML. Um, I added some CSS so things look good. Um, I apparently added my Munch component to my app module. Um, and then these were my modifications from last time, which I forgot to check in. Uh, there's the Munch stuff, which is all new and then the sign in, which I forgot to check in last time. So this is uh, the menu uh, for Munch routes. Um, I hate spelling the word Munch, by the way. I type it wrong all the time. Uh, cool, and so come back next time and we'll make this page uh, do a lot more than just say Munch works. All right, see you then, bye. <music>